Hey guys, welcome to my channel. If you're new, thanks for watching on the video. As you can see from the title, we're gonna talk about all things French Bulldog. And uh, what it takes to care for them. My uh, personal experience watching them, caring for them and training two puppies, two male Bulldogs and uh, it's kind of all over the place, so apologize for that in advance, but just comment down below any questions. I will help you answer them. I've dealt with it all. Allergies, crate accidents, crate training, accidents, just slow progression, everything. So, you know, and daily habits and routines of these cute bulldogs. So if you want to learn more about it and get ready with me with some new beauty products, then just please keep on watching. Thanks. Okay, I look a mess, but we're gonna turn this into the biggest full glam beat. I have been feeling really down a little bit, and I know that doing a little makeup is gonna brighten my mood, honestly. So let's get into this makeup look. Starting up with a nice cup of coffee. I got it from our trip to Europe in Zurich. Um, almond silk vanilla creamer and a little bit of monk fruit. Best combo. It's what I do every day and I love it. Even though it's a little bad for me. Okay, so as you can see, my babies are sleeping in the background. Java's pushed Booth to the edge. Stand by. I just had my coffee. I have my mirror from Amazon. We're back. Babies are doing good. Okay. I'm gonna put some earrings in too. Actually, I'll do those last. We're doing some Snow White vibes, even though I don't have her skin. Oh, and my fireplace is shutting off, so if you hear some little clicks, that's what that is. But it'll go away soon. Thank you guys so much for the support on my latest Bulldog videos. I definitely want to bring more of those to the forefront of my channel. And yeah, so we can just chit chat while we use makeup that I either haven't used in forever or I just bought. I did a recent Saks purchase and a ton of Ulta and actually the Ulta stuff is still not here, but I bought some, I bought this Gucci bronzer right here. I used it like a couple times already, but it's pretty new. Just bought this, the NARS Laguna has not used it. Shade three bronzer. I also bought this uh, MAC connecting color eyeshadow palette. So we'll do a little unboxing right now. Oh wow, it comes in this really cute marbly package. Oh. Oh, it's just gorgeous. It's really heavy, the, the compact. Really nice mirror. I could actually use that for this makeup today. Satisfying. I got my ambiance, winter ambiance on because I already want it to be winter and I don't know why these lights are so dim but yeah I'm gonna definitely have fun using some of these browns highly recommend this guys oh, this is a stunning like golden package oh my gosh it's just this golden shimmer and this brown love it so I just wanted a little compact more I got this Dior Rosy Glow in the shade Deep Plum. This is my last unboxing. Put on this full glam before I'm here for like 10 hours. So Dior. Oh, it's so cute. It's uh, the shade Berry. And I thought it, it looked really purple online. So I was a little bit worried. But it's more of like a mauve purple pink. So I think it's going to work really well. Okay, lighting is much better. I didn't realize it was on dim, so that's unfortunate. I'm gonna be using a lot of makeup today, so I always pull out a makeup wipe, wipe my hands. All right, so 
I will link all the products I'm using or you can comment if I forget and I'll be happy to tell you my shade and everything else. Just gonna get into it and talk about what we really wanna know about, which is owning two of these beauties, French Bulldogs and all things French Bulldogs. So I'm gonna primer. I got these boys from a breeder up in Nebraska and I just have always wanted French Bulldogs. I have been going through social media and just always looking at French Bulldog content and they're so cute. That's been my style. It was either between a French Bulldog or a pug and mainly the pug was because I watched a pug for five weeks back in, I think, 2019. My husband and I, after watching your five weeks, actually it stopped us from buying a dog right away because we realized how much work it was. And we were, you know, as much as we wanted one, we were transitioning careers and it just wasn't smart of us to, about to move to Chicago from Miami. It just wasn't smart. It cost a lot of money too, Frenchies, and that's what we really wanted to at least be able to consider when it came time to purchase a dog. And you know, my husband and I were gonna be traveling and all of that. So actually that kind of saved us in a way, watching my uh, colleague's dog. Uh, we also watched a King Cavalier, which are really cute, but not our preference of dog. And that was 2020, we got to Chicago and we waited until pandemic and everything then, after I graduated business school, we moved to Denver, Colorado, which I've always wanted to come back here and I love it here. So, and then we were, went into the whole new construction process to buy this home. We were renting a house for one year before this house was ready for move in and build. Fast forward to now we're in 2023, January of this year. Uh, my friend was visiting the 15th to like the 22nd. No, 15th to the 21. I bought both January 21s. Okay, so I did my eyebrows off camera, guys, because I cannot talk through that. And we're already going to be here for three hours trying to do a full face of makeup when it's supposed to take 20, 25 minutes. Booth, my vanilla bean um, cream uh, with a white stripe on the back. Bulldog. I was coordinating with a hobby breeder around the area and uh, he was the last of his litter that hadn't been sold. He was already 17 weeks, which is pretty old, especially if you want to get a puppy. He got Java when he was 10 weeks and the difference in training is absolutely night and day. Um, it's just so much harder to train them when they're a little bit older and used to some of their untrained habits. My first time dog mom and it was so painful and I'll get into that. It was a very happy but dark time. Um, people call it like the puppy blues. I definitely had that where the stress of having them, uh, well with having Booth and uh, we got him in January like I said and he you know, it's freezing in Colorado. That's like the cold front, January and February. So trying to train him, take him outside was absolutely a nightmare, but I digress. We got him, absolutely fell in love with him, rest is history kind of thing. Bulldog's temperaments are amazing for families, kids, all of that. You know, next to Golden's, like the best temperament. Not that I know much about dogs, so definitely correct me in the comments. But for us, I wanted, you know, I want to have kids one day and I wanted to make sure we did not have any issues uh, with behavior or attitude. And so we made sure to socialize Booth early and he's just such a happy boy, excited to see everyone and anything. Honestly, he's too friendly with other dogs. Snapped at it. If he gets too close to a dog that doesn't want to you know, play nice with him. Why I also got them was because they do sleep a lot. Online it says about like 16 to 18 hours, especially as puppies, they sleep a f Booth is considered still a puppy. He's only about 13 months old. Java is going on seven months. They're, they're both puppies and they sleep a lot. And I, my husband and I both work and we want it to have more of a low maintenance dog. And scratch that, they are very high maintenance. But in terms of being active during the day 
and you know being active for long periods of time as long as you give them a walk they don't really they really don't bother you okay talking and doing your makeup is absolutely insane i feel like i'm struggling okay so let's get into oh i forgot i don't even have foundation on i just did the kosas creamy concealer and then this lumi glotion and it's pretty much enough but i want to do a full glam so i'm going to put this l'oreal 24 hour infallible foundation being a first time dog mom i did not know i just went in head first <laughs> into the deep end and it was rough basically when you get a puppy i think any puppy people will sympathize with this but the first month is or first like three weeks is gonna be you waking up two three times in the middle of the night to let them out to go potty because they have small bladders and with booth's case because he was older he he really had a hard time with crate training he would dump in his crate pee in it and that was my fault because we bought this ginormous crate because i wanted him to have was an absolute idiot but we we figured it out pretty quickly and then ordered a different crate that would actually fit him and was perfect for him and so the crate accents probably went down by half at that point but booth was my oldest was really hard to get that completely knocked it's it's just a lot guys sorry i'm all over the place there's just so much information about bulldogs i want to share with you guys being someone who's never owned a dog and handling that breed um okay and then so i went over kind of the first couple weeks it's just you know normal like just take him out all the time all the time it felt like we were taking booth outside for every 30 minutes but we had such a terrible time because we bought him in the winter january so he wouldn't go out it was literally you know five degrees outside uh freezing you know 15 degrees outside and ice and snow and all that so we had to actually take him out in the garage which was horrible on puppy pads because i knew like we're training him to do this here so it's gonna be another ordeal trying to teach him once he's able to go to the backyard or on the grass but we had no choice uh booth did not i mean as he shouldn't be because he doesn't have a lot of fat on him he's a puppy he was so cold and he refused to go outside to potty in the freezing cold so he had to go to the garage where i set up a space heater it was absolutely the most awful thing so i would recommend if you are thinking about buying a french bulldog because their temperature range is really just very a uh, short range like they can't be out in cold weather can't be outside past 75 degrees i would say just to be safe um i would highly recommend getting a puppy like i would say because we got java in may and that was perfect so if you are thinking about getting a puppy try to start once it's starting to get warmer and not in the winter all the shots and stuff the vet bills are going to be really high in the beginning because you have to get your rabies shot all your vaccines so i would i would budget quite honestly about uh 800 for vet visits just because you don't know what's gonna happen because Booth actually had kennel cough. Um, he also had uh, back, like diarrhea for three weeks in the beginning because when dogs come, puppies come to a new environment, new house, they re their bodies take a toll and it really affects them. So they're gonna have uh, digestive issues, some throwing up maybe, not wanting to eat because they're not comfortable with you yet. So we dealt with that in the first month of diarrhea so we had to put booth on uh rice and boiled chicken just plain so that was really great <laughs> now um like i said i love them so much that i've kind of forgotten the pain of raising a puppy but not so much because we just did we just finished with javas like the worst months of puppy training it is so much work so if you are not totally committed and maybe if you don't have the flexibility maybe with your schedule already 
just really reconsider and maybe wait a little bit. You can always get a French Bulldog if that's your desire and you have the means to do it. So don't rush into it because it is going to be a 15 year possibly, you know, it's gonna be 15 to 20 year commitment uh, depending on how they live. I think the average age is actually 13, but I'm not gonna think about that because I'll start crying. I'm optimistic, you know? I keep them really healthy and I can go over their food in a different video or I'll touch on it if I'm not so distracted because I already am. Okay, so I just did the cream bronzer Laguna and then I'm going to add some of this Banana Bright powder from Revlon. I haven't used it in a while, so I'm just gonna do that while I put my eyeshadow. This shade right here. Yeah, so they are just a lot of work, um, but they're so worth it. And then when it comes to grooming, I wash them once a week and I also wipe their paws. So another big thing is this braid requires you to wipe their butts, all their junk, because they don't like pinch it off correctly. I hate, sorry for my lewdness. But that's like the truth they they don't know how to pinch it off so you're gonna have to wipe them every time they putty as they grow older it gets easier so it's not gonna always be hard so just remember that when you're on two hours of sleep because you've been waking up for your bulldog it will get better i promise it gets better trust me and then for grooming their paws can get some infections and in their wrinkles, like the folds in their face. So get a wrinkle cream. There's a lot on the market. Um, I can put two brands right here that I use. I use that on them. I put shea butter on their paws as well. Grooming, they do shed a lot of hair, even though they're short hair, but not during the winter, which is nice. Just summer, you have to watch out, but it's okay. I brush them like twice a week and it's totally fine. I also lint roll them directly and it's not a bad idea. And then I also brush their teeth with this toothpaste right here. Uh, I just brush it like, especially when Java, he has a very sensitive stomach. So if he throws up, then I will brush his teeth 20, 30 minutes later. I'll also brush their teeth after they shower. It's part of their shower process and the grooming. And yeah, it's just whatever. I have the energy or just remember to, which is about, I would say I brush it about three to four times a week. Another thing I learned with trial and error is bulldogs have a lot of allergies. So Booth, thank goodness, plus him, knock on wood, Java is, his skin is actually really durable and he does, is not prone to allergies. He's not allergic to chicken, which most of them are. Booth though, if he has anything processed or any really new things, he'll break out. Um, he can have uh, bits of fruit and like veggies, like anything healthy really is fine. But if he has like a treat that's just been, is full of junk and processed ingredients, he'll break out in hives. And then he also broke out in hives for chicken, eggs, all of that. I didn't know if it was just like a seasonal thing because he really started breaking out in hives once it, you know, winter had passed. Um, so we thought maybe it was just spring allergies. So we went to the vet that cost $300 to try to figure out what this allergy was. They recommended we use like a medical grade shampoo, which does help. So make sure you have a bottle on hand because if they do get a rash or like they're itching a lot or, or you know, licking their paws, you can kind of remedy that, home remedy that and give them a nice medicated bath and let it soak into their fur and their paws and just, you know, wait five, 10 minutes and then, you know, rinse it all off. It, it does temporarily relieve that allergy for those kind of more um, superficial topical level allergies, but um, Booth still, you know, routinely had hives. And so we didn't really understand what's going on. Finally, uh, he just passed his one year age. So two months ago, I decided it was time to try raw food. Um, just like cleaner food than kibble. Cause so I think the kibble has a little, has chicken in it. So it's definitely affecting him, I believe, but I didn't want to change up his food cause they are very temperamental to anything. Their food changing, their routine changing. Frenchies do not do change. Visitors coming, accidents. It's, 
you've got to keep a routine. So if you're a very routine oriented person, this is going to be go a lot easier for you taking care of bulldogs. Okay, so I just did some eyeliner with the Makeup Forever in Graphite Aqua Resist Pencil. So I'm gonna wipe off this fake here. Because eyeshadow is done. Okay, so I'm gonna use this new bronzer here. Beautiful packaging. They're really great, but you gotta watch out for allergies. And then we switched Booth finally to Primal Food. I finally fixed the allergy issue. Leaf chunks. So now he's on a 75-25 ratio every uh, once in the morning, once at night. And this bronzer is so pretty. Look at this beautiful color. It's just a perfect um, in-between warm and cool toned. Yeah, he just really did well on that and his skin cleared up. I was so happy. It took me six months of seeing hives on him to finally get that relief that we were both looking for. He loves his new food uh, routine mixture and Java's still on pretty much 90% kibble and then like 10% chicken topper. But he will also probably go to that. Maybe not because he is so much smaller than Booth. Another thing is Frenchies come in all different sizes. You could have a 40 pound Frenchie and you could have maybe a 15 pound Frenchie. So. I have a 30 pound Frenchie, Booth is at 30 and he's sat there, sometimes 28 pounds. He's pretty thick, but he's very fit and he's not overweight. Um, even if he looks like it, he's just rotund. <laughs> and uh, Booth, Java is really small. Uh, I think he was a runt of his litter and he is measuring, I think 19 to 21 pounds. And he is almost done growing i think he's about two more months of a little bit more growth but then he'll be done i noticed with booth he stopped growing at nine nine to ten months so another thing with getting two is i wish if i could go back in time i would have gotten two from the same litter um actually i wouldn't change anything but if i did this again i would get two from the same litter and train them at the same time instead of having to you know offset it thinking you're almost <laughs> you're pretty much at the at the finish line with one dog and then you know back to another training a puppy training uh regiment for three months i already apologize for all the like random lack of flow in this conversation but there's just so much to really i think i've gotten it down we've gotten it down to a science with them um the routine is so important set your routine according to you know to help best fit your lifestyle and your schedule so don't think that you know someone else's method of a routine for their Frenchie is going to be the same as yours um just do what works for you but keep them on that schedule if it works for them and they seem to be responding very well to it what else they are so amazing to have they're so cute such good temperament and i'd be happy to introduce kids into this environment one day one day and i i love them they can't and you will get frustrated you will get annoyed you will be sad you will be depressed it's it's all normal and it will pass just hang in there comment down below if you're going through the puppy blues phase or you know having trouble with puppy training i can try to console you guys booth was probably i think probably one of the worst to train because he would take dumps in his crate four or five nights in a row. Absolutely not good. Just careful. So I'm gonna do a quick lip. I'm doing MAC Whirl. I haven't used it in a long time. I'm using this Carly Bible lipstick in the like shade Libra. It's like this brown chocolatey matte. A little brown. All right, so I'm gonna add Hera Soul Days. Give some color to it, turn it more pink. That's it for the makeup, guys. Some Charlotte Tilbury spray. This is almost out. I'm gonna cool that down here. And then we're going to put some final 
setting powder and then we are done so yeah if you guys have like questions or want me to do another more informational sit down just chatting and more french bulldogs java's still sleeping this whole time he's awesome and booth is now on the floor sleeping so great it's so worth it and i hope they live very long lives because mama can't live without them so lastly we're gonna go in with charlotte tilbury flawless finishing powder or setting powder i love it <laughs> 